So it's feeding time. We have 15 chickens to feed every day. Uh, we usually start pretty early in the morning and they get up around 6.30. And they eat a combination of food. They eat a grain diet and then they also eat fresh vegetables and food. Uh, we feed them in special feeders. And they always have a, a supply of food. They also require extra calcium. This is oyster shell calcium and this is what makes their eggs hard on the outside. So if they lack calcium in their diet, their eggs start to get soft and brittle. So we always add a little bit of that to their food every day to help with their with their diet. And grain is not enough for chickens. Um, a lot of chickens are wild. They tend to eat and forage outside. They tend to eat bugs and weeds and leaves from plants and stuff like that. Uh, our chickens get to do that in the afternoon. But in order to supplement their diet, we give them a variety of greens throughout the day as well. And they really like this. It's a kind of a special treat for them. Come on. I know. It's good, huh? So they they really enjoy this. It's a good part of their, a good treat of, in their daytime. And a lot of them kind of expect it almost now that they, they recognize the bag. And um, this will be gone by the end of the day. Well, when you and your sister were younger, we lived in an area that we couldn't have chickens, but we'd go to the feed store a lot and you'd see the baby chicks. And uh, you would ask if we could have chickens and um, we weren't able to, but about six years ago we moved to a new house and we had space for the chickens. So I promised you that uh, we could have chickens as long as we learned about them first. So we did a lot of reading and research on how to raise chickens and how to properly care for them. And we started out with two baby chicks from the feed store. Their names were Coffee and Donut. And we raised them for about 12 weeks in our garage until they were ready to come outside. And um, from there, once we got comfortable with having two, we started growing our flock, adding roosters and more chickens. And we've just been doing it ever since. It's been a really great learning process and a wonderful hobby. Thank you. You're welcome. We also have three miniature hens, which are called bantams. And a lot of people have never heard of a bantam chicken before. And they're a special breed. A lot of people like to have them for show at the fair. Um, and they're all inside. So here's a bantam chicken. And you can see how little she is. She's fully grown. Her name is Blackberry. <coughs> She's called an Old English Bantam. That's her breed. And she lays. she also lays eggs. They're smaller than a golf ball. And she is about seven years old. We got her with two other bantam chickens that are inside their house right now um, and they were originally uh, bought to be shown at the fair and we rescued them after they were done being shown. She's a very sweet bird um, and again she acts just like any other chicken she's just on a miniature scale.
Well, she was um, actually born three weeks early, so we weren't expecting her. So I went out into the arena where her mama was, and she was laying down, and there were two little feet sticking out. Um, and it was Valentine's Day, which was kind of exciting. So it took about um, 15 minutes, and the whole baby was out. And uh, we, we brought them in their stall, um, which is full of straw so that baby can have a real soft place to stay in a very safe place. And here she is three days later. She's probably put on 20 pounds and she's nursing really well with Mama. Mm, that's cool. Thank you. You're welcome.